work as the walls. Then wired up one of our AC outlets and went outside to wire up our shore power. We cut the hole out for the outlet, then painted the exposed metal so it doesn't rust, then used adhesive and screwed it into the van. Next, we had to locate the battery, which was underneath the driver's seat so we can hook up our DC to DC charger. We then crimped and shrink wrapped our 4 aug wire, then connected it to the negative and positive of the battery. The next step was to install our 200 watt solar panels, so we put the brackets on, then brought them up to the roof. We used roofing grade adhesive, screwed them in, clipped them together, then drilled holes at the entry point. We filed the sharp edges, painted the exposed metal, then ran the wires into the van. We then put roofing grade adhesive on the inside and the rim of the cable entry gland to ensure no leaks. We screwed it in, then went inside of the van to connect the wires to the solar controller. We connected the negative and positive output to our Lynx distributor using a Megafuse.